Breaking news of a physical altercation on Capitol Hill. Republican Congressman Tim Burchett is accusing former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy of elbowing him in the back at the House meeting this morning. Burchett tells ABC News he's certain it was intentional. This is the House is set to vote this afternoon on Speaker Mike Johnson's proposed plan to keep the government running ahead of Friday's shutdown deadline. ABC's Jay O'Brien is on Capitol Hill with more. Jay, I do want to get to the vote, but first, what happened here between McCarthy and Burchett? It, you know, it, one of those things where you wake up in the morning and you say, these are the things that are going to happen in my day, and you prepare yourself for those things. I knew there was going to be a vote today. Uh, nobody expected this. So here's what Tim Burchett says happened. There was a House Republican meeting in a hallway that you and I, Diane, have seen on TV before. It's kind of a close, cramped hallway. And Tim Burchett says as he was talking to a reporter there in that hallway, Kevin McCarthy was walking by him, behind him, and essentially put his elbow into Tim Burchett's back, which Burchett said pushed him forward. And then Burchett followed him down the hallway, and he said, Kevin, you put your elbow in my back, he says. And then he said that the former speaker denied it. And then Burchett said, you did it, and you did so, et cetera, et cetera. That is what Tim Burchett says transpired. And obviously, according to a reporter who was there in that hallway, who works for NPR, who was talking to Burchett at the time, she says that McCarthy denied doing it and denied that it, it was any kind of confrontation. Um, it, it's notable because Tim Burchett is one of those eight Republicans who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy in the first place, which is why we have House Speaker Mike Johnson these days. And Burchett told reporters moments ago he and McCarthy have had zero interaction since he cast that vote to boot, to boot McCarthy from the speakership. And Burchett later said to our Rachel Scott on the House steps, again just moments ago, recounting all of this, that he never expected something like this to come from someone who was second in line to the presidency, Diane. Again, McCarthy reportedly denies uh, 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 all this altercation with Burchett. So, Jay, could this affect the vote this afternoon? What are you hearing from lawmakers? Uh, no, it's not going to affect the vote this afternoon. Um, but, but here's exactly what's going to happen this afternoon. So there's a vote planned for 420 today. Um, in which lawmakers are going to vote on that plan from Speaker Mike Johnson that would temporarily fund the government and create two different deadlines. One, a deadline for some government funding to expire in mid-January, and then another deadline for the rest of the government funding, that would include that second half defense and homeland security spending, et cetera, et cetera to expire in early February. But Johnson's got a problem with the hardline part of his conference, hardline Republicans who say that this plan just doesn't do enough to cut government spending, despite the fact that this was a kind of a form of a plan that they had earlier said that they were in favor of. So Johnson's going to have to turn, because of those hardline Republicans, the dozens or so of them who are against this plan, he's going to have to turn now to Democrats to get their support to put this over the goal line. I've talked to Democrats who say they are willing to throw their support behind this, potentially, um, which means that this could be on track to pass. But certainly, uh, it's not you talk about things that are not expected. It's not something Mike Johnson, frankly, weeks ago expected to have to turn to Democrats to keep the government open and have large numbers of those in his own party voting against a plan that he's going to put on the floor. All right, Jay O'Brien on Capitol Hill. Keeping things interesting, Jay. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.